Hi there. Tyler. Keith. Or Don. We're here with a really dumb list. But it's a fun one. It's a fun one. It's a fucking fun So, for those who have been following our channel for a long time, no. We used to have long hair. Mine's a little bit more recent memory than this one. Yeah. Yeah, I cut mine a few years ago, but mine was mine was pretty long when this channel started. Uh, and yours, you had yours for like eight years. Eight years, and I cut it like a month <laughs> and a half ago. Yeah. So it's fresh. So, when it comes to metal, long hair is great because of headbanging. You know, and when you're at a show, just bobbing your head and, and windmilling, doing all sorts of shit. Uh, we really can't do that anymore. Uh, at least not without looking a little yeah, foolish. Exactly. Like, it, you, you're not going to see our hair flying and all sorts of shit getting in our face. Yeah. That stuff's fun. So we had a we had a dumb idea. What are the best riffs that make us wish we had our hair back? What are the best riffs when you headbang, you wish you had hair so that it could be flying all over the place? That you wish you could do a windmill or whatever, you know? Yeah. What are those riffs that just get your fucking blood boiling sort of thing? Uh, so we thought we would run through a, a, a handful of them. This is an idea we might come back to at some point as well. Uh, but we we have a bunch of them. Yeah. What are the best? You know, and the two. You know, I always thought about like doing a video of like what are the best riffs of all time. This is a little bit more of a fun take on it. I yeah. Think. yeah. Cause some of these riffs are. I mean, I wouldn't put some of these riffs on like the best riffs of all time. They're just fun. Yeah. So. Exactly. Start. What you got? So uh, right off the bat, I I had a little bit of a different take, but it's uh I have. Uh, Rebellion by Gravedigger. Oh yeah, that one's good. Like the just just the, the opening like yeah. main riff and it's just like it's like all just like open string and it's mm -hmm. just like that riff is perfect because it's not like it's like a mid pace riff so it's just it's just good with just you know the whole circular head motion and yeah there's a lot of stuff like that in, in the song yeah like just yeah but that mostly that riff is is great for it. That is a fantastic riff. That's a very heavy riff too. Heavy in a simple way. I have one that's kind of recent. I have uh, Cleanse the Bloodlines by Unleashed Archers. And oh, to me, it's yeah, the chorus. Yeah. So the chorus, <laughs> you know, the vocals are soaring, cleanse the bloodlines or whatever. And the, it's the rhythm. The rhythm's just... You know, it's super heavy. It makes me want to do like a slow windmill. It's like, it's just like a whip fucking get it going. Just, yeah. it, it's a really heavy rhythm that every time I listen to, I'm like, fuck, I wish I had my hair so I could get going on this. But it's one. Redneck, Lamb of God. Oh, just yeah. the main riff is just. Just oh god! Yeah. Oh, you do, basically the whole song is just windmill fest, but mostly the main riff. Yeah. It's just perfect. It's it's so great. Yeah, and that's the thing. There's with this, you know, doing something like this. There's hundreds of thousands of riffs out there that are just. Like, not, there's other amazing. Lamb of God riffs that I could think of <laughs> yeah. that do the same thing. I'm just trying to maybe have a couple of different bands, but yeah, that that one probably more so than other Lamb of God riffs. It's just yeah. That's perfect. what I was gonna say. I think when it comes to Lamb of God, that is like the perfect riff. That riff is just so. Good. Meaty. Yeah. It's meaty and it's got it like, it's, it's got, got the perfect drum beat to it. It's an amazing guitar riff. Uh, so yeah. Uh next up I have a I have a classic. Probably the oldest song on, on my list. I have Injustice for All. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole song is really good and has great riffs. To me it's the middle section when they come back to the main riff, <clears throat> uh right after the solo. The way they come back to it, <coughs> it is one of the fucking heaviest things ever recorded in metal. I still stand by that to this day. Even if you can't hear the bass. Like, God damn it, that riff is just so crunchy and perfect. And every time, it just... It makes me think of those videos that you see from the 80s of, like, dudes up on the, the front guardrail just banging their head, you know? Just That's what it makes me want to do, just, yeah. you know? And it makes me just want to jump in the pit, too. That's a great riff. It's a fucking amazing riff. Uh, just instantly one of the rest of Canada to me. Um, this is another one that like was came quickly, kind of like that. I have Empire Tomorrow by Diamond Plate. Mm. Uh, uh, and I'm specifically the riff that comes after the the second chorus. Yeah. Da, 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 and especially when it slows down. Ah, oh, that's like that's my that might be my favorite thrash riff of all time. Yeah. That riff is so perfect, and it's just. 
Oh, and it's like, I, I want to get Whiplash doing mm-hmm. to that riff. Yeah. That, that's a... God, that's just an amazing song. It is. It's, 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 a, it's a great song. That, pe- that, that section there sells it to me. I'm like, yeah, this is it. R.I.P. Diamond Play, man. What the hell are those guys up to? Yeah, man. It's like, I, I get sad because I, I listen to like this song a lot. And I'm like... Aw. Dude, that debut album, to me, is one of... It's, it's a top 15, 20 thrash album, for sure. It's, yeah. it's an amazing album. Um, I have one that's pretty recent here. I have, there's so, I could literally choose any song off of this album, like literally. Nightmare Logic by Power Trip. Ah, oh, yeah. I mean, there's so many just bang your heads moments, but to me it's Nightmare Logic because of the simplicity of just the open palm mute guitars uh, in, the, in the beginning. And then they pick it up on, with the drums and like pick up the speed with it. Every time I'm like, damn, this is one of the meanest things. Uh, and, and it really makes me wish I had my hair. <laughs> Get it whip into that one. But and then later in the song too, just incredible riffs throughout the whole thing. Uh, but there's so there's countless moments on, on that album that just make oh, you want to bang your head. Right. Next I have uh, Dystopia. Megadeth. Yeah. That's the main riff. Like the that, that main riff is again another one of my favorite I mean it's it's Hangar eighteen. But I think it works a little better, and I just love that riff. And it's just not like a whole like I want to just go nuts and destroy my neck, but it's like a nice. Yeah. I wish I could just have my hair bobbing in front of me or something. I'm like, yeah, exactly. It's kind of, so, to me, this next song is one of the best windmill songs of all time. You could do a windmill during this entire song. Evisceration Plague by Campbell Corpse. Uh, oh. This song is just. It's meaty in these riffs in the drum beats just goes together so well to where you could just not a fast windmill but a decent paced one it, it, it just keep it going the whole fucking time because it it has this slower crawling pace to it that's just super chunky but the drums just you know the drum beat is just the absolute perfect pace for something like this it, and to me it, it's it's probably the heaviest Cannibal Corpse song just because of that. Uh, and then you throw Corpse Grinders vocals on top of it. It's like, damn. It's great. But that that that's a song, man. If I, if I saw Cannibal Corpse live, I'm like, damn. I want to bring my hair out of the bag that I have it in. Just, 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 like, just, just think really hard and make your hair grow really long for like a little bit. Uh, next, I have Balls to the Wall Bike Set. Oh, yeah. That fucking that's a fucking rip. rip yeah. And that's great. Just, and it's so classic, and it's it's just like I think the classic just headbang riff and just kind of just move around. It's it's that that that's a great one because it's just it's bouncy a little bit the riff. I think that's a great thing. I think you if if, if the riff's bouncy, that's a good windmill slash headbang riff. Yeah. Because it's just like and you just you, even if like you, you can't just you just get already are just moving your head like mm-hmm. you know. Like, basically, if you notice, I'm sitting here not sitting still. That's because all the songs I've picked, I can't sit still when I think about it. So, I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. But, next one I have is On Ancient Ground by Communic. Oh. That opening riff is just badass. And and that is a fucking heavy riff that, you know, has another just great pace to it where you can really pull off a great windmill to it. Uh, I mean, the rest of the song, maybe not as much because it gets like, Real epic and crazy in the middle of it, but the, but man, when they come back to that opening riff, that it just hits very hard. The chorus, the chorus is, is good, good too. Good one. Just, yeah, uh, that chorus. Just that, that, the hurts. chorus is so simple too, and it hurts. To yeah, listen to. it just hurts. It, yeah. <laughs> it's it's fantastic. Communic is just man. I was thinking about because I was listening to their new, their new album. They're one of the most underrated metal bands of all time. Just period. Go listen to Communic, dude. Okay, uh, for my next one, I don't remember what I have. Oh, yeah, I think you might have this one on your list, too. I have Soul Hacker by Fear Factory. Yeah. Fear Factory has a lot of fantastic riffs, but I feel Soul, Soul Hacker off their latest album is just one of them. I think it's also just because it busts in, and it's like, you don't get any any warm-up, and it's no. just, and then, so, you don't get to be like, okay, I'm going to pace myself. I don't want to do anything. It's just like, nope, I'm going. Yeah. And it's just, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. It's it, it's mo- I mean it, I mean any time the riff comes up, but it's mostly the intro. I feel like the intro just packs a little bit of an extra punch that yeah. that, that that gives it that 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 it factor to yeah. make you just want to move. Yeah, I, I agree. You know, I think the chorus is good. Chorus uses the same riff, 
I think it's, you know, the vocals there are good, but I think it's something without the vocals just makes it pop a little bit more. It's a great riff. Next up, off their new album, Remain Violent, Warbringer. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a really good one. The ah, which riff? All of them. Oh. <laughs> that's the correct but answer. To me, I think it's after after the first chorus and in the riff, you know, comes back the 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 verse riff and it's just the riff and they're building back up to it and then the vo then the whole band comes back in singing so like Bleh! it's yeah. right there. It's like that's the moment that I love the most. But the whole song is fantastic. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna retcon that into my list because I didn't have that. But I'm gonna say the the verse after the solo. I mean, not the verse, the the riff after the solo. That one's good just too because it starts off slow and then and then you just want to bust into yeah. it. I'm like, also shout out to Silhouettes off their new album too. That's another good one. I I'm I'm not fucking lying. I air guitared that entire song in the shower one day. <laughs> Came on, I'm like, I, I don't care. I'm not stopping to the whole thing. That's a great song, too. But Remain Violent, it's just, it's, it's got perfect. a nice chunkiness to it's it. It's perfect. Yeah. It really is. Uh, next, I have The Essence of Silence by Epica. Ooh. Specifically the middle good. section riff. Yeah. Right after the second chorus. That riff, I, that might be, in my opinion, one of the one of the most perfect windmill riff, riffs. Yeah. It's just really good. The pacing's right, and it's just like... It just I, I like it. It's because it's it's also just very much different from the rest of the song. Because the rest of the songs, you know, uh, a little bit more like the fast paced drums and whatnot, and then also it's epic. And this is just like, you know, we're, we're just gonna write a groovy riff, and you're just gonna, you know, it's just that kind of thing. And yeah, yeah. it's I, I I really like that. Those Epica doesn't do it much, but when they have those kind of riffs, they're awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, next up, I have a song. That is just one of the meanest songs I've ever heard, uh, and that's Panzer Tank Lobotomy. By oh, I, for I completely forgot about Hyrexia, it. their death metal man, and this is off their latest album, from 2014, I think. And oh my god, this song—it's less than three minutes, but it does not stop with the groove and the meaty riffs and just the in-your-face vocals that the whole time, like you want a song to make your neck sore. That's a great one. That's another song where it's that like it's, a, it's it's song. it's really hard to to not move. When yeah, and it's really hard to listen to it and like not get pumped up and yeah. like feel like I need to fucking do something. You know, it's fantastic. Uh, next, I have uh, "Bulls on Parade" by Oh Rage shit, Against the Machine. The fucking hey, main yeah. riff, just like oh uh, that main riff is just awesome. Especially later in the song when when it pops back in. That's like yeah. that's when it's like extra good. I mean, I'm just like, yeah, I, that, that's another song where it's like, like, you know, especially like when it's, when, when, I'm, when I'm out driving late at night through Lancaster and like, so I'm doing things to, you know, keep myself awake. And so like, I'll just listen to songs and I'll just be an, an idiot in the car. I get a lot of people looking at me weird when that song comes on because I'm just like, yeah. just head banging behind the driver. I mean, I'm stopped at a, don't worry, I'm not doing that while I'm driving, but like if I'm stopped at a red light, I'm just like, Ooh. just not, just going. Rage Against the Machine is another band where it's like they there's a lot of riffs where it's just well because they, again they got the groove if you yeah. have the groove you want to move so. exactly and mean to rhyme there that just worked out that way yeah <laughs> no, that's a good one next up I have and this band has just so many fantastic <laughs> riffs that would make you really want to bang your head and get your hair flying but to me it's Collateral Damage by Exodus yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. So yeah. it opens up with just a really crazy ass riff, um, but it's when the drums kick back in that gets me every time. And it's actually after, like the chorus is just like fuck yes, um, but right at the end when Steve is screaming collateral damage after the first choruses and the drums pop in, go duh, 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 bah, duh, bah, and then it just gets right back to it. That's a song that makes me want to fucking bang my head. That makes me wish I had my hair, but actually it makes me want to jump in the pit. If I ever saw Exodus Live and they played this song, I, I would come out of mosh retirement, as people say, and <laughs> get in the fucking pit and run around in a circle with those dudes. It, it's like, it, it's also like the best circle pit riff. One of the best of, of all time. Oh yeah, it's, it's really good. It, it's, it's fantastic. Well, speaking, I'm going to mix up my word here, speaking of circle pit riffs, Indians by Anthrax. Oh, hell the middle yeah. section, just 
you know, if you're not moshing or headbanging, you're not listening to the song right, especially when it gets to the, the middle riff. If you don't want to mosh or headbang, you will be forced to mosh or headbang because the whole crowd... Because those, <laughs> those pits get huge. Yeah, so... But yeah, it's like that. I, I, to me, that's still like one of the perfect, like, yeah. you know, again, mosh riffs. Yeah. But also, like, it's just a good, you know... Just, just head to fucking sort of headbang riff. riff. I so. agree. Right, I got two more. Uh, I have three, so... All right. The Pursuit of Vikings by Mon Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's the verse riffs with this one that make me just want to do windmills to it. You know, just nice paced windmills. Um, I, I just think this it's fucking just badass the, this whole song is but but that that is certainly part maybe not so much the middle section I mean the middle section is good you can maybe keep it going but it's, it's the main riffs it's really good to me it's the chorus like, chorus is like, like not really like windmill but just like headbang the chorus is great yeah so uh, next I have, a, I have an interesting one one that I forgot until I was like it was one of the last ones I wrote on here I have the the uh, opening riff to Minotaur by Flesh God Apocalypse. Ooh, yeah. That's a, that's a good one. Just, yeah. Like, and it's just like, I mean, it sucks that, you know, that's the, the the first 30 seconds of the song are the most memorable parts of that song and the best part. But, like, yeah, that whole thing just, like, is just, it's it's really well done. It's, it's like a, it's, heavy. it's like a slow windmill. It's like, and then you, and then you, you pause and then you just yeah. dance. Like, <laughs> you, you let it kind of float a little bit and it's just like, yeah. So. Yeah. Do your own one. Then. Oh, my own one? We'll be uh, all right, and then uh, so next I have uh, Phantom Antichrist, creator. Ooh, specifically, yeah. I mean, it's the main riff, but specifically when they come back to it at the end of the song and it kind of slows down and it's more of like a of like a slower drum beat. That's like again, that's that, that that's perfect. Yeah. I'm like yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's hey, that gets heavy as shit right there, and I I really I really enjoy that one. Yeah, the, that that one is. Phenomenal. I almost was thinking about putting Gods of Violence on mine, but Gods of Violence I think is a little bit more of an air guitar sort of song. Yeah. That riffs an air guitar riff. I don't, I don't well, bang your head, but yeah. Another good one is is Hordes of Chaos. Hordes yeah. of Chaos is another great just head banger. So. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> My song that every time I hear it, I'm like motherfucker. I seriously wish I had my hair. And if someone asked me. What song do you wish you had your hair for to headbang? It would be In Service of Time. Oh, yeah. By Abysmal Dawn. This entire song is fucking amazing. But it, it, it is the, the the verse riffs that get me every time of just how fucking heavy they are, heavy they are, the pace they're at. Just every time, you know, I just wish I could be windmilling the entire time. But then, even during like the chorus and stuff, you know, that there's some good good shit in there to really get your head bobbing in, in, in towards the end as well. Just a lot of just fucking chaos. But every time, dude, uh, that that song is like top five heavy songs, heaviest songs ever written in metal. Uh, it, it, Abysmal Dawn is a very underrated death metal band. It, it, to me, I love them so much because they have the riffs like that, and they put them all together, just creating just groove and heaviness that, that I love. Um, yeah, that's the, that's a song for me. Uh, I, I wish I would have restructured mine then, because if I, if, I, if I were to say which one of mine was that, I'd probably say the Diamond Plate. Mm -hmm. that, just, that, that, that to me is like, I, I want to just violently throw my head in, in directions it's not supposed to go. <laughs> but uh, my last song is another one that's probably pretty close. Necroshine by Overkill. Oh, the shit. The main no, riff. good. Just, it's just, oh, God. That, that That's another. It's like, again, most of mine, it's like, yeah, you get the groove and then it's just go. And then yeah. even the, like the, uh, the the stuff like during the, the chorus riffs even very good. Like, most of the song is very good. Maybe not the verse because the verse is very... Uh, a little bit different, but like, yeah, like the most of the song is just like, yeah, you just want to, yeah, you just want to bang your head, and it's just like, it's great, and I think live the song definitely has a lot more of an effect than it does in the studio, but I just remember seeing it live that one time, and I'm like, yes, yep, yeah. this is this is it, yeah, that that was fantastic when they played that. 
with Overkill, though, I was thinking of like Mean Green Killing Machine. That was no, that, Ironbound. That, that, uh, Iron, really Ironbound, Mean Green Killing Machine was was up there. Uh, I considered um, Illumination's good. Illumination, come and get it. Yeah, come, come and get it. Come and get it. It's good. I, like, there's, like there's, it goes a lot. Yeah, I just there, there's just so many riffs that yeah we could definitely come back to this. But what songs make you wish that you had hair? What songs make you bob you, you know bob your head all the time every time you hear them, even if you don't have hair. You know, yeah, make you just want a headbang. There's a lot. Awesome. There's a lot of songs like that. And that's like I think that that's like the best part of any song. If a song can do that to me, it's like, well, yeah, there you go. It's you instantly win. gonna, you know, be memorable yeah. to me. Yeah. You know? um, so yeah, thanks for watching. See you. <laughs>